gentlemen oh, <clears throat> just got up and thought man they would be the ideal day to shoot another training vlog and the reason being that I just surpassed three rest days in a row which is quite unusual for me I have to say usually I do only uh, two rest days or one rest day maximum two rest days in a row and the reason why I did that is because I, I felt I did a lot of quite a lot of hangboard sessions in the recent time and I got quite a lot stronger in the fingers, that's what I felt at least. And as I discussed in the um, last injury prevention video, you should always be a little bit careful when you have a feeling that you just got stronger. You can do a lot more, you can put a lot more force onto your inner structures like tendons, pulleys and um, cartilage and stuff. And that stuff needs a little bit of time to catch up, you know, to your current strength. And that's why I thought, man, just throwing three rest days in a row, take one week off completely of hangboarding so we are not going to train on the hangboard today but I have the feeling today is going to be some bouldering and maybe a campus board session and maybe some body strength stuff so yeah it should be an awesome training day let's see how I perform it's always interesting after a longer period of rest you know either it goes really well or it goes really bad at least for me that's the case. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I have to say I pretty much like these um, berry powders or this berry powder here, Aronia berry. Gives the smoothie a nice fruity taste, although it's basically consisting only of sweet stuff like bananas and dates. provide me with enough energy for the upcoming session. So as you can see in the back, pretty decent day today. Not too many clouds, not completely grey, which is quite on the positive side for this time but pretty cold pretty hostile to ride the bike i would say about 10 degrees or so my fingers are definitely freezing i need some gloves definitely all right i can't wait to hit the gym see you there my friends Ooh, it's time to speed up. Welcome back to the climbing gym my friend. As you can see I'm just finishing my warm up here. We talked about um, injury prevention recently and warming up is an important part of injury prevention. Invest at least 15 minutes before your session even starts into a proper warm up and reduce your chance of injury drastically. If you're interested in my full warm up routine check out this video here. But today it's time for a little fitness check and that means I want to repeat or at least want to try to repeat um, my old training boulders and if you're following me for a while then you might know this boulder here already it consists of a couple of quite small but not too small but not too big edges so I don't have to full crimp them which is very important because I don't want to make so many moves indoors on the full crimp which is another important part of injury prevention as you guys know already 
And as you can see, yeah, it consists of a lot of edges, this black one here, and then um, the top is the rail. And in this session I managed to do this boulder in my, I think, fourth attempt or something, which is not particularly strong and not particularly weak. So it's quite of a standard performance, I would say. So I did not feel um, extraordinary strong on this boulder. I think it's um, somewhere around 7B or 7B plus or something like that. And as you can see, this is the attempt where I get to the top and yeah, as I said, not particularly happy about the result, but it's also good to know that at least I didn't uh, get weaker, significantly weaker at least. And what I like to do is I write down into my little booklet here if I manage to climb a boulder. And as you can see, I'm climbing this boulder for the seventh time. And my second boulder that I want to show you today is kind of a mixture between um, edges and slopers. And it, it consists of some really weird moves. And the cool thing about this boulder is that in this session I managed to climb it on the first go, which I think I never managed to do before. So um, yeah, here on this boulder definitely a little bit of strength gain, I have to say. I felt a little bit more power than usually. And yeah, that's quite good. So I decided to um, try the sit-start version of this boulder, which I um, invented recently, so to say, as a new project. As you can see here, um, I um, ticked this version of the boulder, but I have no ascent on the sit so far. And as I felt quite strong this day, not too bad, not too strong, but not too bad. I decided to give it a shot and here you can see some close-ups. This is the crux hold when you're coming from the sit start because you have to um, grip it like that. It's actually an undercling, but when you're coming from the sit start, you have no other option than take it as a frontal hold, so to say. And yeah, then another un undercling here, this big sloper. And then it gets, it's getting slopier and slopier. And then all of a sudden another edge into this Gaston move here and then to the top on the rail. And as you can see, the sit start is actually almost a lay down start. It's a really, really weird and low um, type of movement, almost on an, as on an outdoor boulder or something like that. And yeah, slipped off of the crux hold, so that's definitely the hardest move. And I think this was my best go. Um, here I managed to do the first hard move, then you have to switch this hold into an undercling and have to perform quite a lot of stepping before you can do the first initial move of the stand start, which is also actually quite hard. And then the moves get easier and easier, but it's getting, it's getting more and more dangerous to slip off because the holds are so slopey and slippery already because um, yeah, they are not the newest and then you're getting into this final crux sequence here you have to you have to pinch these two slopers between your legs and really take this edge very hard and here i slipped off this gaston move is so to say the last um the last crux of the boulder and yeah i was quite happy because i had a few really good attempts i think on two attempts i came to the last move move and that's quite good that's quite unusual so yeah, it's, I think it's graded somewhere around 7C or so. And those who watched a couple of earlier videos should also recognize this boulder here. This is my sloper pinch trainings boulder. As you can see here, big holes all in the sloper or pinch category here throughout the whole problem. And you should notice that we are moving from the small hold edge problems to the big hold sloper problems here during this fitness check session. And this is not by chance because um, we were talking about injury prevention recently and this is actually another strategy of injury prevention. If you're starting your session with your um, small hold problems where you're still fresh, you still got full power, then you're not so likely to injure yourself on the small holds because you can perform all the moves quite in a controlled fashion. And once you get tired, you're moving to the big hold problems and there it's not much of a problem if you're slapping onto holes or something like that because you're tired already. And if you would do it in the other way around, you would have quite a, a much higher chance for injury, I would say. Yeah, as you can see here, climbing this for the third time ever, total of two hours in this boulder session. Fitness check on the boulders complete, time to move on to the gym.
And what I did in the gym is actually not really spectacular or anything. I just tried a couple of overreaches on the campus board to find out basically that I'm as strong as always. And then I made a little finger strength check on the beast maker. As you know, I don't have a beast maker at home. I only have my um, self-made hangboard at home. And it's always quite nice to check on the medium um, middle beast maker edge your finger strength. If I can hang this one one-handed quite solidly then I know okay it's a strong day and this time I have to say I felt a little bit stronger on it than usual this may have something to do with the fingerboard training that I made recently of course or at least that would make sense as you can see I am almost able to hold it one-handed and in this shot here I managed to quite solidly block it down one-handed for a couple of seconds so yeah, it was quite nice to see that um, some finger strength gains occurred, apparently. Unfortunately, my left hand is significantly weaker when it comes to this stuff. And as you can see, I'm always rotating kind of inwards when I'm hanging on the left hand here. So, yeah, some gains to make still there. And here I am trying some front lever ups and negatives. I like this training really much. It's really good for your body strength and for the abs. And I'm training quite a few, quite a long time now actually for the solid front lever and I'm still not able to do it um, perfectly as you can see here. But I'm getting better and yeah, I should be able to do it soon I think. And that concludes the body strength and gym fitness check. Some quick post-workout carbs on the way to you might have guessed it, the best falafel in town. Takeaway mood. I think I'm gonna eat this one at home. You excited what it's gonna look like? Let me show you. Oh yes, let's unpack this little bad boy. Simply the best post-workout meal I can imagine. Anyway guys, since it's my hangboarding rest week, I will not do another hangboard session today, so... That means this little training vlog is finished for the day. A little fitness check today was not too bad, but also not um, surprisingly good. So and that's how it goes sometimes, you know, when you take longer rests, you expect, oh man, I'm gonna be much, much stronger now since I'm fully rested and stuff. But in fact, also the rest takes some time to catch up with you, okay? So most most of the time it's not the day after the rest immediately where you're peaking but maybe maybe three four days after that however this vlog is now over thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got something from it and i'll see you in the next one bye